this light flashing, that is the cycle time the MLP is running at. Pretty fast cycle times, even though this is not a GPU, all operations have to be serious. It is my custom whole mount PCB that I designed for FMG collection. And it's my first time trying this red solder mask here. So here we have the current FMG bracelet hardware. Whew, look at that. That does not look great. At a moment's notice, anything could break. But we have this new PCB from PCBWay. First, I want to solder everything I need to this PCB. But so what we have here is a nice removable SD card module. And we've got QTPi, the uh, analog multiplexer, here. all of the external pins that can go to both the Ground Truth keypad and the FMG wristband sensor. 16 pull-up resistors that run underneath this QTPi that pull up each pin of the analog multiplexer, but they should only be pulled up if they are going to be connected to the Ground Truth keypad. So I have these switches on the back here, so I can basically customize which analog multiplexer pins will be used for the sensor. These are the ones that are off and which analog multiplexer pins will be used for the Ground Truth keypad. Those are the ones that are on. And I love these switches here. They're so small, so compact. So I wanna give a big thank you to PCBWay for making a huge chunk of my new FMG collection hardware. Here is my new design for the FMG bracelet, all packaged nicely. So we can read the card and we've got the same blinking as before. Which means that I could go out into the wild and collect data during as many activities of daily living as I desire. I, don't ask me how, have the MLP running on the QTPi microcontroller in this bracelet. So I no longer have to have it hooked up to the computer. 